Alright you guys, we are back with another video for you today. That was a combination of two of the top YouTubering uh, channels, the way they begin their videos. Anybody know which two? Just Justin Rodriguez. I hate the same old beginnings, guys. Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muzzle. Justin Rodriguez and Ian Valier. These guys placed 8th and 7th, respectively, at the Mr. Olympia event. And a lot of people have been giving Ian Valier a hard time including myself, saying that there's politics involved, he's being pushed, he won a couple of pro shows and then got a, a second place finish at the Arnold Classic. But I have to say, guys, this video is not meant to say that Justin Rodriguez was ripped off and Ian Valier is being pushed. It's to show that Ian Valier may have and probably did, in fact, deserve a victory over Justin Rodriguez. But we have to go through the poses, guys, and we'll... We'll decide on that after we see all the shots. And for goodness sakes, I'm going to give Ian Valier a, a red card on this, or a yellow card, whatever you say, in, in soccer, or football, European football. He's, he never hits it when he comes out and does his individual mandatory shots. He stays away from the front double. I mean, you can, you can get away with not hitting an ab and thigh, or maybe a side pose, but it's your front double. Hit it, Ian. And it doesn't suck. These pan back pitchers, this is a rusty old screenshot. It takes away from the size. It distorts the size of the guys for sure. I mean, if you're comparing screenshot with screenshot, fine. Justin Rodriguez, I think he'd be winning this one anyway. Even though, come on, Ian, you got that small waist. Your arms are getting bigger. Start hitting this shot. You look good, man. Go through the real... You know, pitcher comparisons, front lat spread. And one thing I did notice about Ian Valier, kind of phoned it in with the, the way he was striking this shot. I'm not dissing my man, my Canadian boy, my homeboy. But he, uh, he has hit this much better. Look at the Tampa Pro, for goodness sakes, this year, not last year. Look at, you know, Texas Pro, front lat spread was awesome. And I gotta say, using these two versions... I don't know, guys. Keep in mind, Justin still has the much wider waistline, and that could, uh, you know, that could really hurt him in a front lat spread. Condition, they're both pretty similar, to tell you the truth. Turn to the side, and this is the finals for both guys. And like I keep saying, I wish I had both versions of each. And for anybody saying that Ian Valier is getting pushed, he's, uh, you know, he's not as good as they say, or the judges, look at the thin skin conditioning from the side. You see that? This is a dangerous shot for Ian Valier. This is his, one of his best, I would say. Justin Rodriguez, no slouch at all, and the thickness department, hanging hamstring, things of that nature. A little bit hazy, a little bit cloudy is the picture of Ian Valier. They must have pumped some clouds. That was a great idea, by the way. You know, laser light and, and just pump some clouds. It makes it harder for them to see, you know. It's kind of neat. It's neat. It was a good idea. Go to the side tricep. This is a, a terrible pitcher. And there's no, no sarcasm in this. This is a terrible pitcher for, for Justin Rodriguez. A rusty old screenshot. For some reason, he wasn't hitting this pose in his mandatories. Hmm. Very interesting, very interesting indeed. He may have got a victory over Ian Valier in this one. Not the best tricep itself, the, the meat, the thickness for Ian Valier, taking nothing away from the man. Respect all these guys. But as far as the physique is concerned, Ian's matching pretty much anybody on this one. What a physique. Let's have a look at the back shots and boom, Justin Rodriguez takes over, making it controversial. For sure. Conditions similar too, guys. These guys have the exact same type of badonka donk and hamstrings. Not the most in the muscle separation department, but I gotta say, very hard, dry, and grainy for both guys. And fortunately, boom, we have a, to steal a phrase from Superset Man, boom. He does the best booms. This is the finals for both guys. What do you think? What do you think? Hmm. Very underwhelming is the back development of Ian Valier. With all due respect, Justin Rodriguez has a very thick, full back. Take a look at the back. 
It is a good back development, guys. Justin Rodriguez, I would say. Rear double by, and again, Justin Rodriguez all the way. Ian, I honestly, guys, I tried to pick a better one, but there was ones where he was, you know, leaning back too far, and ones that he was... <laughs> go through the gallery, and you, you'll see what I'm talking about. NPC News Online, I always leave the link at the end in my description. Of course, thanks to them, guys, I would not... Uh, you know, wouldn't be able to do these videos. Condition, guys. Justin's right there with Ian. Right there with Ian. And like they, they do say, you know, you have to be there to see it. But I gotta say, if you're there, can you not see those thick lat insertions of Justin Rodriguez? Hmm, I do. Go to the finals of the rear double by. And if anything, I have to say that Ian Valier did seem to dry out. Couldn't tell from the rear lat, but here in the rear double, it did look like he dried out in the uh, in the finals. Did Ian? Hmm. I still would give this one to Justin Rodriguez. The conditioning is that similar that the lat insertions would make a difference. The arms would make a difference, in my opinion, that is. Anyway, though, guys, Ian Valier, he was probably winning from the side. So is it is it controversial? Hmm. I'll let you know at the I'll let you know at the end, guys. Ian Valier, it's it's a funny thing about this guy. His abs and thighs, Sean. <laughs> I don't want to be mean and say it sucks. He needs to work on it. He needs to work on it. Trying not to be as negative. You know, you go out and say, Oh, this guy's pose sucks. He can't do bodybuilding worth crap. He should do it like I say. Even though I don't step on stage, should listen to what I say. No, 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 no. That's not what it's all about. No. The method that Justin Rodriguez is hitting this one, I do prefer... Double arm overhead. Good separation in the abs. And that's what you got to look for. Separation in the abs. Not smooth abs, right? Would, 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 would that make sense? If you're looking for a smooth set of abs. Ian Valier lacks a little bit of muscle separ separation in this one. He has the frame. Definitely has the frame. I don't know. Talk to Nick Walker. He has a lot of ab separation. So does Justin for that matter. Go to the most muscular. Obviously, I was giving Justin the abs and thigh. Most muscular. Wow. This is an Ian Valier shot. Look at that thin skin. And for those of you who say, oh, you have to be there. You can't see Ian's thin skin. Look, guys. You can, in fact, see it. And that is a world of difference if you're going to be a judge. If you're judging these guys. You know, you put the work in to get that type of conditioning. I mean, you nail it as far as the, the everything you eat that day leading up to it or the whole week, you know. It's a science, guys. It's a science. And no two bodybuilders are alike. And kudos to the guys that do find out their formula. This is the the uh, this is the finals. And I got to say, Ian, hmm, doesn't look as good here as he did in the, uh, the Friday show, rather. He's still probably beating Justin Rodriguez. He's... He's that much bigger as far as his frame. He has a couple of inches. He stands taller in the shots. They might get some criticism on how I did size these guys. There was more than a few inches in certain shots. You can see Justin, even in this shot, he bends at the knees a little bit. You know, he spreads eagle slightly more than Ian. And I guess it's smart if you're an Ian, you know, five foot eleven. You extend your height, you'd be more than a few inches taller than everybody. What a controversial decision on this one, guys. I'm going to go ahead and say that Ian Valier, he did deserve the win in this one. And you could see in certain shots that the skin was thinner. His condition was a little bit tighter, better. Now, who was winning the majority of the poses? Hmm. Ian may have made up for the loss of the back shots with the side shots. And that front lat spread, he probably would have gotten that one too. Abs and thigh would have been a Justin shot. Both back shots, Justin shots. Most muscular. Thin skin, I think, would have won it over for Ian Valier. Front double, come on, Ian. Start hitting that shot. It looks good. It looks good. Anyway, guys, I've seen worse. Look at Doreen Yates's. Hit thumbs up on the video, guys. Not meant to, uh, to rub anybody the wrong way with this one. I just honestly wanted to see how close it was between these guys. And it was. It was. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already, because I have gotten a lot of sub subscribers, sub 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 blah, 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 subscribers lately, and I really appreciate that, guys. Trying to speak from the heart, I get a little bit, uh, you know, 
teary-eyed, things of that nature. Wait till you see my unveiling of my uh, my silver silver play button if I do make it to the 100,000 subscribers. And yes, I say if. Hey, I could die before then. You never know, guys. Meteors flying every which way. Every which way. Have a great day.